Okay, so I'm starting a new topic now. It is called analog to digital or digital to analog conversion. We will see each of them one by one. So uh, what happens is most of the signal in our real world are analog. And uh, processing in analog uh, or uh, processing the si analog signals is kind of uh, difficult. So mostly what uh, happens is you convert the analog signal into digital. You perform the whatever the processing you have to do in digital by our digital systems and then you get the digital output and convert it into analog okay so analog signal some of ex uh, examples i can show you is uh, pressure air temperature these uh, or audio signals these are all analog signals real world signals but they are all analog so mostly what uh, you can say man means almost all the signals in the world will uh, have analog na uh, nature but uh, what is the benefit of digital processing is it is fast it takes less time to process a signal in digital form it takes less space so the size of the digital systems will be very small and it takes less memory so if you have to save some data here and there uh, you you will require less memory compared to analog signal okay so that's why it is beneficial uh, so what happens is you convert at the analog signal into digital form you use digital systems to do the processing that takes digital input and gives digital output and whatever output you are getting you convert it into analog okay so that you come back to real world okay so that is the flow usually so hopefully you are getting why we are uh, uh, learning about this so this part is something we will learn about and this part we will learn about first we will start with d2a d2a i have given here you can see this is the format of digi digital to analog converter throughout uh, uh, from this uh, video okay so you will be having some n bit input you can see it is starting from zero so instead of n you have n minus one here and b are something called representing bits okay so you have you will be having n bits binary input to your digital to analog converter it will have some reference voltage or reference current that will be used for conversion and using these two guys you will be forming the output that will be analog in nature okay digital to analog that is how it will work this is the format top block of the digital to analog converter and one more thing is faced is the output voltage format so v out is equal to k into decimal equivalent of binary input input so whatever that uh, binary input you will apply convert it into decimal multiply with some proportional constant you will get the output voltage so this will be the format mostly or, or all the time okay of digital to analog converter here also you can see the same thing i have expanded here so k into so you can see this is how you convert a binary number into decimal right 2 to the power 0 into bit 0 uh, 2 to the power into b uh, bit 1 likewise you go on and on to b to b n minus 2 uh, 2 to the power n minus 2 b n minus 1 2 to the power n minus 1 so you are basically converting whatever the input bits are into its decimal equivalent you are multiplying with some proportionality constant that's how you are getting the analog output or analog equivalent of the binary input you are applying okay so this format you always remember okay to the digital to analog converter it's linear type you can see uh, the more the decimal equivalent of uh, uh, binary input is the more the output of uh, uh, d to a converter will be okay because it's a proportionality constant k is right so uh, so straight away we have jumped in here i'm gonna uh, explore something more about this equation i'll show you some more things uh, like full scale voltage what is full scale voltage or uh, lee lsb voltage lee scale voltage so we'll be playing around with this for some time and then i'll i'm gonna jump inside this block I'm going to show you what type of digital to analog converters are like R2, 2R or inverted uh, R2, 2R types, weighted binary type registers. Um, so those things we will see. But first I'm going to play around with this equation. Okay. So let's uh, move on. Okay. Let's see some few things about a digital to analog uh, conversion equation. So you had V0 is equal to K into 2 to the power N minus 1, BN minus 1 plus 2 to the power n minus 2 bn minus 2 plus dot 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 plus 2 to the power 1 b1 plus 2 to the power 0 b0 right this is the expression you had uh, that's the standard expression for d2a 
converter now for four bits just as an example i am showing you what this equation will look like so v naught will be equal to k into 2 to the power 3 that is capital n value i have put for 4 so 4 minus 1 will be 3 right so 2 to the power 3 then this guy also 3 2 to the power 2 b2 you will go till when you, uh, until you reach b0 okay so 2 to the power 1 b1 plus 2 to the power 0 b0 right this is what it will look for 4 bits now there is something called full scale voltage which i want to tell you that is when your bits all the bits are one okay that's when you call full scale voltage which voltage this output voltage okay your output voltage will be called as full scale voltage if all the bits uh, will be one okay in this equation so what i'm trying to say is v full scale voltage now i have i am writing v0 as vfs at full scale it means full scale voltage is equal to k into 2 to the power n minus 1 into 1 2 to the power n minus 2 into 1 plus dot 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 2 to the power 1 into 1 plus 2 to the power 0 into 1 all the bits are 1 when all the bits are 1 your output voltage will be called as full scale voltage okay when all bits are 1 now just for an example again i am taking for 4 bit the full scale voltage will be k into 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 0 right all the bits are 1 1 1 1 so it will be 15k right if you will calculate 2 to the power 3 is 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 8 plus 4 12 13 14 15 right similarly if you do it for 3 bit your full scale voltage will be k is k into 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 0 is equal to 7k right this is uh, when uh, uh, all the bits are 1 1 1 so you calculate 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 7k so if i want to generalize it what i can write for general n for n bit n bit i can write vfs is equal to k into 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 is in bottom this will be the full scale voltage expression this expression you have to remember so you can see here uh, if you put n value n value equal to 4 uh, so 2 to the power 4 will be 16 16 minus 1 will be 15 that is what you are getting in 4 bit case similarly for 3 bit also if you will put 3 here 2 to the power 3 is 8 minus 1 if you will do you will get 7 7 into k right you can also see it as k is equal to vfs which is full scale voltage divided by 2 to the power n minus 1 this is your proportionality constant and it is also called as resolution okay what resolution is it's it is uh, the minimum what you can see is the output voltage minimum output voltage when uh, you are having uh, uh, what i can say minimum output voltage uh, when you are having smallest possible input uh, that is how you can uh, tell i think or maybe let me choose the words what what should i say uh, i can uh, call it as smallest possible change i think uh, 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 smallest possible change in output voltage smallest possible change in output voltage uh, corresponding to the change in the digital input signal okay that's what you can think of so smallest possible change in the output uh, corresponding to the change in the digital input signal that will that will be resolution just for now uh, imagine uh, this is smallest possible voltage output voltage i'll be explaining it more but my my point is for first you should be knowing about full scale voltage which is this guy and from here you can uh, calculate the proportionality constant k which is also called as resolution okay and this whole term is also known as step size okay this this term this vfs divided by 2 to the power n minus 1 okay and fortunately is it equal to uh, your resolution only right this is the the terms which you have to remember in uh, in uh, 
D to A converter. The resolution is kind of confusing sometimes, but I'll be showing you what this means. So there is first thing which is full scale voltage. Now I'll be telling you about LSB voltage. Okay. There also we can calculate the uh, proportionality constant, which is resolution. Okay. So let's let me go to second thing. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the second voltage, which is LSB voltage. It is called least significant bit voltage. Uh, here you can see just like we had all the bits one. Here only LSB bit will be one, and rest all the bits will be zero. And at that point of time, whatever output voltage you are getting, that is called as your LSB voltage. Okay. So here you can see V LSB is equal to V naught when all the bits are zero, except the LSB guy. You can see here. So to the power n minus one, n minus two, n minus Three like this to the power one. All bits are zero. Only the last guy is one. So two to the power zero into one. So what you can write? All the terms will be zero here. You can write k into two to the power zero into one, which is basically one only. So you can write V LSB is equal to k. That is your resolution. K is your resolution proportionality constant. So now you have two ways of calculating resolution. either you can calculate resolution from full scale voltage or you can calculate resolution from lsb voltage both means same thing i'm going to tell you how but for now you just stay with me that both can be used for calculating the value of k that is resolution depends on what is given to you either you will be known uh, about lsb voltage or you will be knowing about full scale voltage to calculate the resolution and both are same thing this is also known as uh, in this case it is known as step size this guy and this guy also is uh, same thing you will see how i am going to show you the difference They, this is also called as step size okay resolution or step size if you have to convert into percentage if you have a resolution that will be in uh, in uh, in uh, uh, decimal so if you have to convert the resolution into percentage you can multiply it with 100 okay so these all things you should be uh, remembering i will be giving you uh, uh, interpretation of this step size or resolution uh, if you are aware of step size you might have known what i'm trying to say Uh, but still i'll uh, give you a pictorial diagram so that you will be able to imagine what does this resolution means right so this is also a one example uh, one formula you should be remembering sometimes you have to represent the resolution in percentage so you just mul multiply with 100 okay mind you this minus 1 is in down right it's not in power okay okay now what i'm showing you is resolution just for your visualization or pictorial representation of resolution what i'm trying to sh show you here is uh, so the definition wise what you can say is smallest possible change in your output voltage v not corresponding to the change in the digital input voltage okay smallest possible is most important so smallest possible output so what it is trying to reflect is this voltage smallest possible okay i've taken an example of 4 bit dac so this is a characteristic of dac it's a linear type you can see it is linearly increasing right and it's a for for uh, just an example i have taken for 4 bits so 0000 it is 0 volt uh, 0000 it is 1 volt because the step size is 1 and then again 1 1 1 1 after 15 steps you will be having 15 volt right so that will correspond to 1 1 1 1 uh binary uh, equivalent okay so you can see because this step size is 1 volt it is going till 15 and 15 is your maximum or full scale voltage you can say because it is corresponding to 1111 and corresponding to 0001 you have 1 volt right so in how these both are similar see if you will calculate you using you you calculate k using vfs so vfs which is full scale voltage 2 to the power n minus 1 this will be 15 this guy and 2 to the power n minus 1 means 2 to the power 4 minus 1 right that will be 16 minus 1 15 right so it will give you 1 volt so similar uh, similarly if you calculate k with v lsb that is 
uh, voltage corresponding to zero 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 one, right? So that will be K only. So that is one volt, right? Here you can see. So in same cases, in in both the cases, the resolutions are same, right? One volt, one volt. They are the way of calculating it is different. One is using full scale voltage. One is using uh, uh, least uh, significant bit voltage. So basically, both are trying to reflect this guy. Okay, or you also call it as step size because the step each step is of this size equal. So this guy is also one volt, one volt, one volt. Likewise, you will go and at one, 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 you will reach fifteen volt. What will happen after that? It will come back to zero, 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 zero. Again, it will start. Again, come back to zero. Again, it will start. Likewise, it will go. Okay, so hopefully you are able to see what I am trying to say. What is the resolution? It's the smallest possible change in output voltage. These are output voltage. Okay, output voltage, smallest possible change corresponding to the input. Okay, so I input changes uh, by one. The in the output you have one volt change. That is what resolution is, or you can call it as step size. And you had two ways of calculating it, either by using full scale voltage or either by using uh, least significant bit voltage. Okay, and this is the characteristic of your di uh, um, uh, di digital to analog converter. So it is showing you the output voltage, okay, for each input, and you can see it is linear, and uh, whatever the linearity proportional constant is one volt, right? So hopefully you are able to get the picture of resolution. Okay, just before moving on, uh, I'm gonna show you some example. Two examples, simple examples you can see, so that you will get better picture. Find the resolution of 10 bit digital to analog converter with full scale voltage is equal to 10.23 volt. Okay, so you have to find the resolution. Uh, bit size will be given to you, uh, given to you, n is equal to 10, and full scale voltage is 10.23 volt. So apply the formula. Resolution is k. K is equal to v for the full scale divided by 2 to the power n minus 1. That is 10.23 divided by 2 to the power 10 minus 1, right? That will give you 10.23 divided by uh, 1023. That will be 10 millivolt. Okay, so that is the answer. Similarly, next example, if you will see, find the output of 4 bit digital to analog converter for digital input of 0110, and you are given with full scale voltage is equal to 7.5 volt. Here they are not asking you to calculate the resolution; they are asking you the output for 4 bit input 0110. But you don't have K value, right? But you for that you have you are given with full scale voltage. So K is equal to full scale voltage divided by two to the power n minus one. Here the value of capital N is not given to you directly. Here you know that your input is of four bits, so maximum all the bits will be one. So two to the power four minus one that will give you seven point five divided by fifteen. Two to the power four is sixteen minus one fifteen. Now you can calculate the output voltage V naught is equal to Uh, K into decimal equivalent of your binary input. So decimal equivalent will be six, right? Zero one one zero. So two to the power one uh, and two to the power two, right? So four plus two is six. And this is the value of K. This is here. And you solve it, you will get three point zero volt. Okay. So that will be the voltage output voltage corresponding to this input of your digital to analog converter, right? And uh, maximum it can go till 7.5 volt. Similarly, here also you can see your minimum voltage or step size is 10 millivolt. Right? So that is how you can imagine stuff. Uh, hopefully, it is clear about resolution. There are two ways to attack, either through full scale voltage or uh, LSB voltage. Okay, and you now know about how it looks like resolution. It's a step size. It's a minimum voltage output voltage uh, corresponding to the input change. Right, so that is the property of uh, di di uh, or characteristics you can say of digital to analog converter. Now what I will be doing is uh, I will be getting inside the circuit, like uh, like uh, what we had right DAC. So we'll be looking different type of DAC inside this. What kind of circuitry will be there? So from the next video we'll start. Okay.